Ali, thank you. Schools and businesses are closed, but the foster care system is still open and families are still struggling to make sure kids in care get what they desperately need. 25 News anchor Lindsay Lippman tells us how to help without even leaving home. When kids go into the care of CPS, often they have nothing. Children are removed, you know, daily 24 seven and they really need the support more than, you know, they're our most vulnerable populations. The Waco Rainbow Room is still open to CPS caseworkers to gather necessities for foster children and those in CPS care. Donate a pack of diapers or maybe a bottle of shampoo, an extra pair of clothing that you have around the house that's new. You know, that's a great way to help out kids that are in, in need. Partnerships for Children operates the Waco Rainbow Room. Marcus Cantu gives us an update. Uh, and with the need Growing Partnerships for Children is stepping up to try and answer the call. So we're not only trying to keep our shelves stocked daily, filling the requests that come in from caseworkers, we're also expanding our services to provide grocery gift cards to families who have lost their job and, and are trying to make ends meet. And we're also partnering with local restaurants to launch our comfort food care package program where patrons can donate meals through the restaurant and our wonderful volunteers will take these meals and deliver them directly to our families. An Amazon wish list is set up so you can donate without leaving your home. The most needed items include diapers, sizes three, four, and five, toiletries, and teen clothing. This little boy even received a new bicycle, something his caseworker says will help him keep busy during uncertain times. Coronavirus has put a strain on the system, and with many adoptions on hold, PFC's mission is even more critical. Lindsay, thank you. We have a link at kxxv.com if you would like to donate either to the Rainbow Room or kids in CPS care.